What's going on, Sumolings? Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and today I am joined by the team over at Connected. Connected is a file transfer service that combines identity verification and encrypted messaging to help businesses secure their communications and data. It is starting at just $49 for a lifetime deal. Uh, before we dive into the walkthrough, I just want to tell you all a few quick things. Uh, the first is that if you want to tell us a little bit about your use case, why you're interested and connected. We'd love to hear that over in the chat room. Uh, the second thing is if you have any questions about the deal, the tool, how to get set up, anything like that, go ahead and leave those questions in the Q&A box down below this video, and we will circle back to those questions at the end of the walkthrough. And then the last thing is that there will be a replay of this available. So if you need to step out, you can. If you want to watch this over and over and over and over and over again, you could totally do that too. Nobody's judging you. Um, all right, that's it for me. Hey, Ian, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. I'm excited to have you here. I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to you for the walkthrough. Uh, just let me know when you're ready for those questions. Okay, cool. All right. So, hi, everybody. My name's Ian, and I'm the founder at Connected Software. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to share a little information about the product itself. So why did we create Connected? Well, business have got an ever-growing need to exchange information securely. The problem is that email is the equivalent of a digital pass, uh, postcard. So you should consider every email that you send is insecure. Amazon are well aware of this, which is why they've stopped including details about orders in emails that they send out because they know other companies are snooping in on the information to gain marketing information. And it's the same with attachments. So if that's what reputable companies are doing, you can imagine what hackers can get up to. Uh, so you need another solution when you're sending sensitive information and that's where Connected comes in. Not only is connected secure, but it verifies the identity of both the person sending the files and the integrity of the message itself. So when would you use connected? Well, if you need to send a message that's confidential or if the files are too large for an email attachment, that's when you would use connected. So let's jump into a quick product demo. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when setting up Connected is to click on Settings. And we will set up the company-wide settings. So the first thing is to enter the company name. And then click the Save button. Next, we want to add our own logo. So we click on Change Logo, select the logo. And the next thing is to set the branding to your company colours. So we can click on the... Uh, predefined colors here to set the different color schemes or you can add your own hex code to uh, give the background color. So now we've set up basic company settings we need to share our sign up link with other employees so we click the copy employee sign up link button and paste this into an email to send to employees. When they go ahead and click on that link they'll get the join page and registering will then use one of your licenses internally. Now we want to set up some personal information in the app to increase our trust rating, such as verifying your mobile phone number and setting your address. To do this, simply start typing your address or company name and then select it from the drop down. Lastly, you should verify your identity via a government approved document. This is just a case of clicking request identity verification and sending the appropriate document. We also want to specify who's able to send us messages. It defaults to anyone, but you can also set criteria such as only people with a verified mobile number. Under there, we also specify what happens to messages that don't meet these criteria? Should we quarantine them or just reject them? Okay, so let's go ahead and send an actual message. So we click Compose, enter the recipient's email address, and give the message a subject. 
Next, we'll enter some text in the body of the message. And then select the files that we're going to send. Very similar to email. Um, we just click send and we're done. Clicking the email I received takes them to a holding page where they can access the files. Because this user is a Google Drive user, they can receive all the files in one go in their Google Drive account by simply authorizing Google to work with Connected. All the files have now been received in Google. If we go to their inbox, they can open the message and see various information such as the fact that it's received, total file size, here are the files which we can open in Google Drive and we can expand this to view more information about the sender such as their trust rating, verified information such as email and location. Here we see information about the actual message. If we open the drive containing the files we go straight to Google Drive and here we have the files. File drop pages are a way to receive files from people with just a web browser. It doesn't require the user to log in. Here's an example of a file drop page. The recipient enters their email, name, a message, and then selects the files to upload. When they click on send, the files appear straight in your inbox. And the sender gets an option to send more files. The sender also receives an email informing them that the files have been re successfully received along with their message number to uniquely identify the transaction. Vaults are a place to store your files. Let's create a vault. Click on create vault and enter a name. Once again click Create Vault. And now to add files we click on click here to add files and attach the files. When finished we click Save and those files are now encrypted in the vault. You can also enable two-factor authentication on a vault to further protect the files. To send the contents of a vault to another person, click on Send, and we get a standard message where we can now enter the recipient's email address. Add a subject. And click Send. Because the recipient in this case is already a connected user, they receive an email and clicking the link directly opens the files in their cloud storage, in this case Google Drive. Okay, so that's a quick uh, overview of connected and uh, various use cases such as sending files, receiving files via a file drop page, and storing files long term in a vault. Are we ready to do some questions? Yeah. Ready, All ready, right. Ready. Simulings, if you would like to send in your questions to the Q&A box, we are going to start answering those now. Um, I have a question from Ross here. He asks, does Connected have a document checklist feature? A document checklist feature. Uh, um, yeah, the way that he explained it, sorry. Um, the uh, Like a document upload checklist for all of the things that need to get emailed to a client. Um, no, I mean, I don't know if you're talking about a logging system whereby uh, everything that happens to the message gets logged at the bottom of the message. 
but there's no checklist as such, uh, unless you're talking perhaps about um, a file upload page, in which case um, you can specify uh, required information on the upload. So, you know, different fields that you, you say this is required um, and you can't upload it until that's been satisfied. Great. Uh, all right, is there an API? Uh, there isn't currently, but that is definitely something that we're looking to do uh, longer term because um, we certainly had quite a lot of interest in that. All so right. At, you'll be looking at the middle of next year, I'd imagine, before uh, that would be available. Cool. Uh, is there a way to add signatures to the emails? Uh, again, not currently, but um, that is also something that we're looking at because, um, again, a lot of interest in that. I mean, obviously, there's lots of uh, companies out there doing e-signatures already, um, which we could integrate with, but I think with the identity uh, verification we already have in the system, um, it'll be easy to implement uh, the equivalent of a digital signature for documents. So yeah, that's on the roadmap. Great, thank you. Um, what is the difference between the Vault's maximum file capacity versus the total capacity of the account? So a uh, Vault's, um, each vault can have 10 gigabytes in it. Um, so obviously you can have as many vaults as you like until you've used up your storage allowance, which is on this deal is, is fairly huge. So I can imagine that's not gonna happen uh, very quickly to be honest. All right, can secure messages be sent without files? Yes, they can. So when you compose a message, um, you just enter your secure message in the, the box that says enter your secure message here. Um, just don't attach any files. And then essentially the recipient either has to be a connected user to uh, log in and view the, the message, or if not, they're prompted to. And it's just a quick process to basically verify their identity and then they can read the message. So yeah, you don't need to uh, attach files as well. Cool. Um... All right, this question, why is there a limitation of 10 gigabytes? Um, that's just something to do with the encryption size in the vault. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the kind of expert on that side of things, but basically the, there is a limitation on a single vault uh, of 10 gigabytes. Um, there's a limitation when you're sending a message uh, of five gigabytes per file. I think I just lost the uh, the sound there. Oh, can you hear me? Uh, uh, you've just come back on now, yeah. Sorry about that. All right, if one of my users creates a vault, can I, as the owner, see that vault? Um, can you, as the owner, see the vault? Uh, no, that's private to their account um, you could use e-discovery which is another feature bundled with connected on this on this lifetime deal as well uh, and with e-discovery obviously you can go in and, and view uh, everything the user's done all the communications and the vaults but you know that's that's not um, it's not a standard feature that's just something you would do if you were investigating you know something you'd need to use e-discovery for such as you know a data breach perhaps all right uh, do we need to invite slash add clients in the system before requesting files, or can we directly send them a message to request files? Um, so if you're requesting files through a file drop page, um, if you go into the file drop page settings, um, there's an option there to just copy the link to the, uh, to the page, and then you send that to the client, and then they don't need to sign in or anything. They just literally access the page, and it's encrypted, and they can send uh, data to you. So files and, and text, obviously. All right. When people log in, is there an activity report of who logs in, when, and shows what their activity is? Um, there's no log of people uh, accessing the accounts, but there is a full audit trail of all activities that they carry out whilst when they are logged in. All right. How do you get a six star trust rating? So you need to uh, 
verify your ownership of your mobile phone number, then add an address. So generally speaking, it's a business address. And if um, basically if, if the email that you sign up for the application with has the domain name, which is owned by your company. So if you have a company, uh, say, registered with Google, and it has that domain name, when it signs up, it will automatically verify that you own the, uh, well, not you own the, that you are actually at that registered address because it uses Google. If not, uh, you just uh, submit uh, a request for the address validation. And if you do that, and then you also verify your identity via government approved documentation, then you get the six star. All right. Uh, is it possible for employees to use Connected without third party authorization? Um, as in, can other people in your company use Connected without you adding, adding them as a user? Mm -hmm. um, no, you'd have to give them the, the sign up link. Otherwise, you know, they could, there's nothing to stop them signing up to Connected, but obviously they wouldn't be part of your organization. All right. Is a vault one way only, meaning that multiple senders can send files to the same vault, but they can't see other people's files in that vault? Please explain a bit more the functionality of the vault. So the vault is a long term private storage, really, for the user that owns the vault primarily. So it's just a place to store <clears throat> both files and documents. Uh, for the long term, um, but you can share vaults in two ways. You can either just click send when you're in when you've got the vault open, and then you can send the contents of the vault to another person using the standard connected technology. So it basically creates a message and attaches the files from the vault. Or you can make a vault public and get a share link to do that. Um, we are again we're adding more functionality to vaults going forward, so it'll be more granular. Uh, sharing abilities. But Great. currently it's, it's a place to store your own stuff securely and, you know, like I say, you can send it as well. Awesome. Um, all right. Does Connected have cloud storage space up to five terabytes? Uh, yes, it does. Yeah. That's on the, if you look on the deal page, that gives you all the information about the different uh, plans available the amount of data you get for each plan. Wonderful. Um, do you have to verify ID with an official document or is that optional? Uh, it's entirely optional. It's if you just want to get the extra star rating to obviously prove that, you know, you're as kind of uh, verified as your account can get, but um, there's no requirement to do that at all. Cool. For compliance reasons, I'm not permitted to send mail from another email address that isn't being archived. Will there be an option to provide a link to download content, like, uh, I guess, a different share file? I don't know what that is. Um, sorry, could you repeat that question? I didn't really understand that one. Will there be an option to provide a link to download the content? Um, yeah, I mean, you can, you can, like I say, you can create a private vault and then share it. Uh, with specific files in there. So yes. Uh, can we control storage and bandwidth allocation for users? Uh, there's two options. So by default, everybody gets their own uh, set allowance of uh, bandwidth per month and uh, storage space. Um, but it's an option as the administrator in settings, you can turn on uh, pool data amongst all users. And then obviously the data gets pulled, pulled. So if you've got 10 users, you'll get 500 gigabytes per month. Um, but it's an all or nothing thing. So either everyone has their own allowance or pull it. Cool. Uh, will this work behind a firewall? Uh, yes, it will. All right. What is the timeline for an Outlook integration? Uh, Outlook integration is one of the things we're looking at in the first quarter of next year. Um, the first, if you want to take, if you want me to take you through the roadmap, or should we? I love, we okay. love a roadmap. I would okay. love that. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're looking uh, to implement is an interface rewrite with uh, Vue.js, 
make it more interactive, uh, faster loading, uh, you know, better looking. Um, the next thing, because it's um, been requested a great deal, is uh, a full C name uh, white label. So in other words, you can use your own domain um, if connected and it essentially becomes your own internal product uh, as far as your customers are concerned. Um, and as I can say, we've got more um, improvements to vaults for granular access, uh, integrations with Box and uh, Gmail and Outlook are, are the next things on the uh, on the production line. Because that will also enable you to send uh, messages from your own account, so it won't be from you know mail or connected. It will be from your own email address, which again is, is a popular request. Awesome! Thank you so much. Um, can you explain how storage and bandwidth is calculated? It's not clear what a fifty gigabytes actually includes. So bandwidth is um, basically any any transaction where you're moving data in or out of your account. So if you're sending a message to someone, it, data is used as you upload the uh, the files, and then when it's received by someone and they download it, uh, it's also accounts against data. But uh, of course, this this deal does have you know especially. If you're pooling data amongst uh, your licenses with very generous data allowance anyway so i think it's unlikely you're going to run out of data unless you spend sending you know colossal files day and night all right can we specify where the requested files land after they are received or do they all end up in a general inbox um it depends on how you're receiving the files if you're sending with the standard connected message that just goes in your inbox. If you're using a file drop page, you can set that up so that it um, drops the files in a specific folder. So if you are receiving, you know, clients from uh, say, you're an accountant and you're receiving some uh, files from a specific client, you give them a, their own uh, file drop page and all those end up in a, a, a the same folder. All right. Can we delete or replace a user if they are no longer needing to use connected? Yep, you just do that from the uh, settings page, user management. And you just, as an admin, you can just go in and delete uh, users as well as uh, you know, changing the uh, what they can do in the application. All right. How much does storage and bandwidth uh, overage cost? Is there a SumoLing discount? Um, so basically what you want to do if you is, you know, get using the application, um, in a sort of, uh, the way you're going to be using it long term and then figure out if you want to upgrade whilst this deals live, because, uh, obviously that's the time to, to buy in extra licenses and then you can pull those up to, uh, well, up to 50 users and uh, above that actually. So. Essentially, once the deals run out, you would then be on the stand. You'd have to pay the standard uh, upgrade cost. So, if you want to, if you want to use it heavily, now's the time to uh, buy more codes. Wonderful. Uh, thank you. Uh, will you be able to use S3 storage instead of connected storage? Uh, no. Um, it is just connected storage. We don't integrate with S3 at the moment. Cool. Um, can you set an expiration date on a vault so the content is no longer available? Um, not on a vault, no. You, you, in the uh, settings management area, you can set up um, the time that files and messages uh, last for. You can set expiration dates in there, but uh, vaults um, hang around until you delete them because obviously it's, uh, it's a long-term storage place. All right. Can you set a logo per user or is the logo per account? So the logo is a company wide setting. Um, and obviously on the each user account, they can set their own profile image, but the branding for the company, which is logo and color scheme is picked up by all users that uh, sign up within your organization. So it's one for all. 
All right. Um, what happens to a deleted user's stored files if the files were not deleted before deleting the user? So if you remove a user, then the retention policy will pick up those files and they'll be, they'll be deleted, same as uh, a live user's files would be. All right, are iOS and Android apps coming? Uh, they, are, they are on the roadmap, yes. Um, they're pushed further away than the stuff I was mentioning earlier because you know we're, we're kind of more um, pushing to get the interface improved and the kind of core functionality improved before we set up mobile apps. All right, if we buy a code, can we upgrade to additional codes at the Sumo Link discount as we grow our company? Um, only as long as the Sumo deal's running. Okay. Um, just following up on a previous question, would there be an option to do like a mini agency option so you can get multiple branding options under the same account or is it best to get multiple codes and use individually? Um, either way, really, because uh, if you buy, say, even the base license, it gives you uh, 10 users and that gives you one company, essentially. So you can stack up another two and, and get two companies for two codes. All right. Uh, there are a few questions in this one. Is this an email hosting slash vault? Is this an email hosting slash vault? Uh, okay. I'm not really sure what my question means. Okay, uh, Jay, if you want to clarify that. Uh, our email SSL, what color is the padlock and what level of encryptions does it have? Um, it uses the uh, encryption provided by Google Cloud, which is one of the highest levels. Um, other than that, I couldn't really give you any specifics. I'd have to uh, talk to the techies. <laughs> Um, is there a scheduled expire for file access if we don't want clients to have permanent access to a file? Um, so if you're sending files, essentially when the recipient uh, receives the file, it um, either goes into their own cloud storage if they're using Dropbox, Google Drive, or something like that. Um, so obviously once they've received it, you know, they own the file and uh, they have access to it for us. So forevermore. So if they're not using uh, cloud storage, you can retract the file at any time and uh, provided they haven't already downloaded it, then uh, they won't have access to it anymore. All right. Um, is this end to end encrypted? And then they asked about like something, but I don't know what that something is. Uh, yes, it is end to end encryption. So it's encrypted at the point uh, when someone uploads and sends the file. And also when it's when it's pushed out to the recipient storage, it's then decrypted as it actually goes into their account, assuming that you're using you know, something like Google Drive. Otherwise it remains encrypted uh, in the system. Awesome. Uh, is there branding only on two codes? Uh, no, there's branding on one code. Okay. So the only thing that um, two codes and more gives you is the uh, subdomain. So you can put up, you know, your company dot the connected. We love a sub. We love a subdomain though. So. Yeah. So subdomain uh, uh, full uh, C name is coming later on. Cool. Uh, is it possible to send larger fi files than five gigabytes? Um. Not the single file size is capped at five gigabytes, um, primarily because it's it gets messy uploading in a browser, anything larger than that. Um, but there's nothing to stop you sending a message with, you know, as many five gigabyte files in one message as you like. All right. Uh, is there a way to access a file sent through Connected uh, without having to sign up for Connected? Uh, yes, at the point where you create a message, um, there's an option to set the security level. So you can either go for standard or high. So if you go for standard security, um, basically when they get the, the link to 
access the holding page, they can then download the files directly from there without registering. Uh, if you go for high, then they have to obviously prove that they own the, the account that you've sent it to by registering. All right. Uh, if I stack seven codes and get unlimited users, can I sell this as a service to my clients as an agency? Are there features in the system that will make it easier to offer this as a service? Uh, yeah, so there's no problem with um, selling it to your uh, your user base. Uh, if you run an agency, that's no problem. Somebody said they saw my dog and I was like, how did you do that? And then I realized there's a mirror behind me. Um, when are you releasing a more detailed roadmap with dates? Uh, good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> certainly within the next few weeks. We're kind of cool. um, swamped currently with, um, with everything we're dealing with with the launch. So, yeah, so. I don't know, Sumalings, I don't know if you guys know, but launches are, are massive events. Um, yeah, I totally understand. Um, and I'm sure that Sumalings understand that these are massive events. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I know that you are getting probably a lot of feedback and a lot of great recommendations and prioritizing those and coming up with a strategy is going to take some time. Um, yeah. So that's understandable. Uh, will Connected work with AWS Cloud Storage in the future or just Google OneDrive and Dropbox? Um, it's, it's not something that we've put on the roadmap because it's not had a great deal of uh, traction, but never say never. Uh, what are the limitations as far as HIPAA or other medical uses for this vault? So we are HIPAA compliant. Um, Basically, if you want to uh, get a contract signed, that's no problem. Uh, we send over a company um, contract for you to sign, and then you're uh, covered under the agreement. All right. Um, can branding be adjusted at any time, i.e., um, can we change the C name and all if required sometime down the line? Uh, yes, all you do is um, remove the current domain, well, subdomain that you've got uh, configured and then put a new one in there and uh, then it'll go through the system and be set up. All right. Sumo Langs, we have just gotten through 39 questions. Uh, if anybody else has any more, now is your moment to go ahead and send that in. Um, I'm going to stall for just two or three more seconds. Uh, as maybe somebody is furiously typing. All right, we got one. Uh, can I send files to contacts like we transfer? So like without them having to register, I feel like we just did this. Yeah, we did uh, touch on that one. The quick answer is yes. <laughs> um, when the email is sent, will it read at connected or our own domain? So currently um, it's at connected. But and um, as I said earlier, that, right? that is in the pipeline, yeah, to awesome. use your own email. Uh, on the file drop page, can you specify the files you want a client to drop on that page? Um, there is an option to customize the uh, file drop page and you can put information on there, uh, you know, describing what you want the, the client to do with it. So, yes, essentially. Wonderful. Uh, and can this be integrated to a website like WordPress to allow people to upload there? Yes, you can. Up, uh, you basically, when you edit a file drop page, um, you can grab the embed code from there and then obviously paste that into WordPress or any other website page and then you essentially get an upload, a, a connected upload tool embedded on your page. Wonderful. Will you be sending email updates that include new features? Uh, yeah, we'll certainly be um, adding all users to a, a mailing list and keeping you up to date on what's coming and what's uh, what's been released. Great. Now that's 44 questions. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. 
Sumolings. If you have not already, you can go to appsumo.com slash connected to redeem your codes starting at $49 for a lifetime deal. And of course, this is con- uh, backed by AppSumo 60 day guarantee. So you can go ahead and get set up, play around with it and see how it works for you. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave those on the deal page. Um, but of course, we also love to hear your reviews and how much you're loving connected. So go ahead and leave those reviews and comments on the deal page as well. Thank you so much, Ian, for hanging out with us. Great. Thanks for, thanks for everyone's time. Wonderful. Have a good one. Okay. Cheers.